everyone welcome back to Jackie's creative lifestyle today we're going to be doing card number two in the uh, craft box in a day so yesterday I put up the uh, card number one that you can make so this is going to be a different one and then tomorrow we'll have card number three so um, the card we're going to be doing today is another Mother's Day card and this one is made with the oh so succulent set and that is what the um, April uh, box is the craft day in a box and we are focusing on the oh so succulent set so this has um, all the things you do you need to put together succulents and also um, has the wee sentiments here on the side which has the happy birthday uh, sorry happy mother's day written in it it also is using the um, thin lip dies as well to cut out um, the different shapes so we're going to be using some of those again today in this particular card this card's a little bit different than yesterday and that is that it is I call it the split card so it has a piece taken off the side so let's get started and put this card together so that the ladies that have purchased the um, craft day in a box can go ahead and make this card number two so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the card and DSB, the designer series paper that we need. Now you're going to need a piece of Whisper White and the measurements for this is 18 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And then you're going to come in and you're going to score at 7.5, so 7.5 centimeters. Do your score line and then you have this fold in your card. You're going to need two pieces of DSP. One will be nine and a half by 14 and one will be 14 by six and a half. You can either use either side of your DSP, which is good. Stamping Up have um, all their um, designer series papers come with double sided, so you get the two options. This is a piece of Whisper White card and you're going to need that at 7.5 centimeters by three centimeters. So let's put the card together. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm actually going to pop the paper inside and adhere that to there. I'm running out of my snails, so I'm just going to use my fast fuse. I normally use the fast fuse for um, a little bit trickier projects, things that you want to um, have a bit stronger adhering to, but um, my shipment hasn't arrived of my snails, so I'm just going to use this one today. So what we do is we just find the center there and place that into the middle. And there you have that piece. The next piece we're going to be placing on is we're going to be popping this one here on the front. So let's just pop a little bit of this on there. And pop that onto the front. Okay, so there you have the two pieces of DSB on there. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're just going to stamp up our little flag for the side. <clears throat> to pop on the front, that will go over the side. Now what you will need to do is cut the little flag first. And easy way to do that, I showed you yesterday, we did a little flag in that one as well, is that you eyeball the center, find where you want the center to be, and how deep you want the cut in the piece of card to make the flag. So I probably just wanted about that. So then you just go to your corner and snip it in and it's very simple once you've done it once. All right, and so there you have your little flag. Now I didn't really eyeball that completely straight, did I? Because this one's a little bit longer than this one. So I'll just tidy that up. It's good when you can do little, little errors because then I can show you how I fix them. And there we go. And then, then that makes that a little bit more squarer. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our stamps out of that stamp set and we're going to use Happy Mother's Day and we're going to use Because of You, I Am Me. So that's that one there and I'm going to use that in the Old Olive. Just a matter of inking that up and popping that at the top. Oops, upside down. And don't want to lean into the frame of the camera, so I'm just going to guess that that's where it is. And I've left a little space up the top there, and I'll show you why in a second. And I'll show you about that one. So that is that one. And the next one is Sweet Sugar Plum, and that's an in colour with Stampin' Up. 
and then we're just going to pop on Happy Mother's Day. We're just going to pop that just underneath. And there we have that. Isn't it pretty writing? I find the font on these stamps really nice. The next thing I'm going to do is this is a little stamp that comes in the stamp set and it's three tiny little flowers so I'm just going to stick it on there actually I might just pop it whoops it sticks very well just pop it up into that corner and I bring back in my sweet sugar plum and just going to ink that up and I'm going to put some little flowers just along the top just to add a little bit of flowers all over so there we go so because of you I am me happy Mother's Day I think that's really sweet okie doke <clears throat> hopefully my mum's not watching this because this may be her Mother's Day card <laughs> so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm actually going to um, pop that up onto dimensionals um, and I'll just grab them so here we go, the Stamping Up Dimensionals. Now all the products that I'm showing you today are available in my online store. So if you are a New Zealand resident and you were, and you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like to purchase um, some of the Stamping Up products that you see today, just, um, oops, just go into my little store. I've got the link down below and, um, and perch, do your little purchasing and it will be delivered straight out to you. Also, if you do want to receive the latest catalogue due out on the 1st of June, then all you do is you just email me your name and address and tell me that you would like to receive the catalogue and I can send that through to you. Um, that's our new annual catalogue and that is coming out, comes out for a year and um, yeah, due out 1st of June. The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need the ribbon, which is the Sweet Sugar Plum Ribbon. So I'll just grab that for you and this is it here. So just pop a piece under here. Very simple to put together this card. It comes together very quickly. And cut a piece off. And I don't go to doing the knot, uh, doing the bows on these cards when I'm using this type of ribbon. I just do double knots. And whoops. And then just pull tight, slip it into position where you want it to be. And then tidy up those ribbons. Oops, that one didn't come out as I wanted it to. There we go. Okay, so there we have the ribbon placed on. I twisted it a little bit when I tied it, but that's okay. There we go. Now, I've pre-cut the, whoops, I used the thin lids, oops, and, um, and pre-cut some of the um, succulent flowers, and I'm using old olive and tip-top taut with this, and all we need to do now is just pop them all together, and I think I might use some glue dots on this very easy to put together you just place your glue dot in and then just down onto your flower just make sure you get them into the gaps down and as you can see they come together very quickly now this collection oh so succulent oops is um about to retire as of the end of may so you still have a little bit of time to get it. So if you do want to receive the, whoops, the thinlets, oh, I've just gone and pulled that flower off. Um, if you ha do want to use get the thinlets and the stamp set, um, let me know as soon as possible because that is selling out fast. There we go, and we'll just pop this one together. And it doesn't take very long at all for it all to come together. It's quite fun stacking them and popping them all together. And in the stamp set, there's actually little stamps that you can stamp on 
the succulents here which give them a little bit of a dimension to them so that they look um, very lifelike. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stick this on. I'm gonna use my fast fuse, only because it holds strong. Now with this, I'm going to stick it, I put the fast fuse on here, so I'm going to stick the very edge of this card here, here, and let this bit here come over. So I just put my finger there so I know where it's going. And you just pop that on, and then it won't stick to this part of the card. So just make sure that you don't put your adhesive on that part. And this one, I'm going to, I'll do the fast fuse on this one too. And pop that just under there. Just lift this guy up. Pop it under. And I'll just put it on, coming onto there. So there we go, give it a good push down. Then you can come across and um, in the card that I did and showed you at the beginning of this video, I used um, diamantes on my flowers. And but with this one, I'm going to use pearls. And I'm just going to pop some pearls off. I'm going to put a big pearl in the center of the big flower. Whoops, let's just move him into place. There. And then I'm just going to use a smaller pearl down here on the smaller flower. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'm just going to bring back the other card. This is how it works. I'll bring back this other card and I'm just going to show you some differences that we have on the cards. This is what I was meaning by the little stamp that's in the stamp set and this particular stamp gives it that different dimension and a little bit more lifelike. So I haven't done it on this one just to show you the two variances and the two difference between having the stamp and not having the stamp. So if it is a stamp that, set that you would like to have, let me know just as soon as possible. So you can just pop that under there and tidy that up. So there we have those card, that particular card, that's card number two. And tomorrow we'll have card number three for you. So thank you for joining me. If you do want to subscribe to my channel, Jackie's Creative Lifestyle, just click the link below. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.